Hello, this is Mike Lively, and today we're doing something a little bit different. Uh, this is a live series that we're going through on Java, and this is lesson one. And when we're done with this series, we'll start the lesson two. When there's questions from the student, you will not be able to hear them, but I'll actually will be typing those in the screen. And so go ahead and read those, and that will be the context of what I'm answering. So thanks for listening, and let's get started. So now that you ran that program, let's go ahead and take a look at what I have to show you, and you'll, you'll recognize some of this. I got a little... Uh, Java lessons here I think I zipped up and sent to you so I have a lot of programs in there that I've given you okay you want to go through those programs and I think you're gonna have no problem with them because it's all very similar to PHP except this initial structure is different okay so I have something called um, string concatenate right here let's take a look at that and so I uh, I'm gonna play around with that string variable and I'm just gonna do a little bit of string magic for you okay once again you see everything structured the same here's my class name I don't necessarily need that public in front of it but Eclipse generated for me automatically so I'll just leave it there for now okay here's my class name and here's that all that a public static void main uh, string args now once again you put your parenthesis on the string and I put mine on the args that's okay the bracket excuse me it just needs to go somewhere right uh, and then uh, I declared my first uh, variable and it's uh, called first string and I let it equal my dog and then I created another string, my second variable, and I called it some dogs. And the third variable, I called it statement. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go second string, which is my dog, plus have fuzzy ears. Okay. Then I'm going to print that out to the screen. So what should that say? If my second string is some dogs, it should say some dogs plus. What does the plus sign do? Well, you're not familiar with this. In PHP, the dot was the connect concatenate sign. When, when, you, when you want to add two strings together in PHP, use a dot. In Java, when you want to add two strings together, use a plus sign. In ActionScript, when you want to add two strings together, use a plus sign. Okay? So a uh, plus sign is pretty, you know, usually what you see people use. Okay? Uh, the only thing Java gets, uh, PHP gets confused because it thinks you're trying to add them together, and it'll try to uh, convert the strings to numbers. That's what PHP tries to do, so you have to use something else like a dot. But here you use a plus sign, so it should add the second string, which should say, some dogs have fuzzy ears. Make sense? Then I print that out. Then I'm going to take the same statement like you did before, and let that equal first string, which is my dog, and have my dog plus this term right here, has fuzzy ears. And then I'm going to print that out, and then I'm going to cr create the last statement, which is therefore, plus the first string, is some dog. So let's go ahead and print that out. Let's go ahead and run the program so you won't be so surprised. And we'll run this real quick so you can see it. See, the, see my console? This is a fallacy in logic. Some dogs have fuzzy ears. My dog has fuzzy ears. Therefore, my dog is some dog. Okay, so there you have it. <laughs> okay, it was corny, I know. I didn't deserve that laugh, but you did it anyway. <laughs> Do you observe the structure? Does it seem difficult to you? Great. So let's go. Okay, let's go back to uh, our slides. So you've done this right here. You, you it makes total sense to you. So you're you're a Java genius now. And so let's move move on to the next one. Just like PHP, uh, you also have the same equals plus minus times and uh, division. Same symbols. You're also going to get many of the same things that you've seen before, like the plus plus and the minus minus, uh, the plus equals, the minus equals, the divide equals. I've got a program to show you. All that same mechanism that you use for PHP is alive and well in Java. Okay, And so we're gonna actually going to show you some of those. Uh, basically, the math operations in Java follow just like mathematics you, you learned in high school. Parenthesis first, multiplication, division, and then addition and subtraction. All that you've seen before. And here he's running a simple program. You can do this one on your own. I'm actually going to show you one that I've done. And so once again, you see that uh, public static void main string arguments, right? He's going to declare a double, and he's going to. So why is he going to do that? Because he's going to add decimals, right? So he's going to go one plus two times three. He's going to print that out, and then he's going to divide the score by two, and he's going to print that out. Very simple program, okay? Once again, double is for decimals. That's he's de doing decoration. That is the strict typing. Strict typing. It's one of the uh, four variables that we looked at earlier. Let's let me go back to the slide. Four types that we looked at earlier. Boolean, integer, double, and string. Got that? Okay, great. Let's move back. Okay, let me move forward. And that's good, right? You, you can go through that on your leisure. And here's another one where he does a little bit more math work. Fine, go through that one. 
And he's talking about string concatenation. I just did an entire example on string concatenation, so we got that. Hey, we're moving really fast here. We are MIT geniuses. All right. Hey, you're done with the whole thing, so I'm going to show you a few more programs. But that's that's going to be the final assignment here, is to create a gravity calculator. All right. So if you're familiar with physics, so there's going to be a little bit of physics here because this is MIT, right? You know that the law of gravity is acceleration times time squared times 0.5, or one-half acceleration times time squared, plus velocity times time plus distance. Did you know that one? All right, good. <laughs> You're supposed to program there. That's your assignment, so I'm ready to give you an F if you don't come up with it. But I have a partial code for you to work with, okay? So don't worry. <laughs> it's too late. It's too late. You said you did, so I'm not going to. No, no, actually, I'm coming back to that in a second, okay? Are you? <laughs> I, I thought so. Otherwise, you would not be associated with me. <laughs> No problem. Hey, listen, you've got the code I sent you, right? Go ahead and bring that code right into your clip. So why don't you switch over to the screen, your screen, and let's go ahead and bring the code, the zip file that I sent you, and let's bring that up into Eclipse, and you can, you can open up those and look at them. There it is, your new, there's the folder. There it is. Uh, okay, all right, that's fine. Correct. And open up that up, click on one, and let's go ahead and look at it. Yeah, just click on one. There you go. And run it. Uh, this We haven't talked about Scanner yet, okay? What I'm actually doing is uh, a program on Scanner. So let me, go, let me go back and let me talk about this, okay? This is... Bucky talks about this. So let me... I, I'm going to take the screen and talk about it from my side, okay? So you're caught up and you've, you've imported everything so you can work with those during the week, uh, two weeks before we get back together. And what I want to do is I actually want to go through some of these programs I've written and talk about them and so you can get cued in on what you need to do. Uh, adding input in Java and uh, basically uh, I'm going to use something called a scanner. And what a scanner is going to do is allow me to input from the console. Isn't that cool? So I'm going to input data. Remember that little computer diagram we saw where you have an input? Well, we're going to create an input so we can actually input data into into, uh, into Java. Now, absolutely. Now, real quick here, uh, inside of Zava, Java, there is a, a class. It's, it's in the utility classes, and it's called Scanner. And we've talked already about classes. You understand about importing classes in. Basically, in Java, there's a whole class package. There's many class packages written by many people. And whenever you want to do something, you have to import that class into Java so it could be done. And what the scanner does, in a sense, it just scans for input information. So in order for this to run, you have to import the scanner class. And notice that the import comes before your class statement. If you make the mistake of putting import uh, below, let me see if I can bring this down one second. Say you put your import in the wrong place you're going to get an error. You see that? So the import has to go before the class. And every once in a while you're going to make that error. It's, oh, I, my import's in the wrong place, okay? No, we're, we're, st we're actually on a little bit of Bucky information right now, okay? Bucky's going to cover this in the first nine videos. In, in the next uh, PDF you'll see this again, but I, I want you to get it now.